Hey YouTube, Navy98. So I decided to take a little inspiration from, from uh, Adam Savage of Mythbusters fame today. Uh, for those of you who don't know, after Adam Savage left Mythbusters, uh, he started his own company and YouTube channel uh, under the name Tested. And he does a ton of uh, makerspace type videos, um, doing props and uh, costumes and, and all kinds of maker stuff. Uh, and if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I'm into that kind of thing, uh, making movie props and things like that. Uh, but last year he started a, a series uh, on occasion where he reviews uh, some of his favorite tools that he works with on a day-to-day -day basis in his shop. And I thought I might show you uh, uh, in some of my videos some of those tools that I like to use when I'm restoring uh, projects or doing some research on all these uh, old mill serps or um, militaria, etc. So uh, one of the things that I find as I'm getting older in age uh, are my eyes uh, going bad as far as seeing up close. And a lot of these old mill serps, especially if they've been around the block, uh, a lot of the marks are worn out, fading, uh, the different proof marks, etc. So I have a hard time uh, if they're really tiny or, or possibly worn out seeing uh, what they are. So to help me out, uh, I bought what is called uh, a jeweler's loop. Um, and this is an example of one. This is actually a Japanese one. Uh, and what it is, is a fine mag magnification device. So this one here actually does uh, a 10 times and also a 20 times, but I'll typically use the 10 times uh, magnification to get right up in on a, uh, a proof mark or et cetera on a rifle or, or whatnot, just to magnify that uh, to see what it is. And the difference between this and just a normal magnification uh, device, like a magnifying glass, is that this gives a ton more clarity. Um, and because it's smaller, you can get right up on the marking uh, and get a lot more clarity out of it than you would uh, using just a normal magnifying glass, which is magnifies over a much broader area. Now you can also, if you have a good phone, you can obviously zoom in on a mark or take a picture of a mark and then blow it up on your computer. But just day to day, if you, know, if you don't want to have to go through the trouble of that, uh, you can get yourself one of these jeweler's loops and, and get right up on a marking to see what it is. So just to give you an example here, uh, this is a, a K98 I have, which is kind of interesting because uh, uh, it came out of Israel, however, it's still in the original 8mm Mauser, which is kind of atypical for Israeli K98s. Um, Israel by way of Czechoslovakia, by way of Germany uh, at the end of the war. So it's got a ton of different markings on it, um, from German to Czech to Israeli. Uh, so it's pretty cool. I um, haven't had a chance to take it all apart yet to look at all the markings. But there are some Waffenamps here um, on the receiver. And up here near the site um, that uh, with the naked eye it may be hard to figure out what they are this one's not too bad to see that one's a struck out uh, marking there uh, eagle hol holding a swastika uh, but there are a couple of very worn waffenamps down here um, that are kind of hard for me to see what the the numbers are on them so again like i could take a picture of this and blow that up and probably figure it out but if i'm just working in the shop uh, I'll break out my loop to, to take a look and see what they are. So I'm going to try to set the camera up to kind of give you an idea of what this magnification looks like. All right, so let's see how this, how well this, uh, I'm able to do this on camera here. But I'm going to put the jeweler's loop, the magnifying lens, right over the Waffenamt. If I can get it in frame here. And so I think you can see that. You can see the WAA. And that appears to be a 7-7 seven, seven on that marking. There we go. So that's the 10 power uh, jeweler's loop. Again, I typically don't use the 20 power, uh, but you can flip out the other side here uh, and get that 20 power over it. I'm not sure if this will come out because this is fairly tiny. Um, yeah, that's probably not going to show too well on camera, but you could use that if it's a, if it's a very tiny marking. So again, uh, this is a Japanese model. It's a Vixen. Uh, I got this off of eBay from Japan. I think this was about 30 bucks shipped. Um, but you can get these on uh, Amazon and eBay uh, for a lot cheaper if you don't want to go with a, a higher quality Japanese version. 
this Japanese version just gives a lot better clarity um, on the markings uh, than the cheaper ones. But again, this is something I use around the shop. If, if you're younger and have really <laughs> good eyes, you may not need this, but I find that I do nowadays. But this that I throw that out there is something that may be useful to you uh, around the shop as you're doing uh, work uh, fixing up these old mill serps and trying to figure out what all the markings are like I do. I uh, hope you find this useful. I'll put a link to this one in the description below in case you're interested in it. Uh, until next time, this is Navy98 saying Go Navy!